Yes, okay, so what I think, I could be wrong, but I feel like Poppy is gonna be very strong just because uh, it's like kind of like bot lane meta, like Kalista, yeah. Kate, these kind of champs, and like when your bot lane is winning, Poppy obviously makes the game very strong. I feel like Talia is very strong as well. I don't know how Talia functions, uh, how OP she is in competitive. But, uh, okay, maybe... wait, wait, Let, let's do one by one. Like, just yeah. leave them down there, no? Okay, okay yeah, so sure. I think first Poppy, sure, you can be at A tier, but I actually think that Poppy blind, I don't know how good it is because I can see it losing to Maokai, for example, and I and I don't know how good Maokai is, but basically I just... Poppy farms very slow, but it is bot lane centering meta, right? Yeah. And I think Poppy should be good against... What about Phyllis 6? What about Phyllis 6? I think Phyllis is strong, no? But I don't know if people will play him. Really? I think you have like too much inspired influence. Too, too much inspired influence? <laughs> okay, maybe maybe we'll just... We'll just put just do niche, 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 niche. Yeah, niche, yeah. Niche, yeah. Niche. yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, I think I would put... Talia as like blind pick. The best sure, blind pick, right? Blind. And, the best and blind Listen pick. as well, by the way. Listen like, and Talia are the best blind picks. Listen is a good blind, yeah. Like Listen doesn't really care about the Poppy that much. Yeah, I mean, so, so I mean, happy, like, but... so basically, by, by my by my solo queue tier list, like, I mean, by what I thought in solo queue, the, strong, the strongest jungles look to me in solo queue are like Talia, Listen, Nidalee, and Belvet. But this, this is solo queue, right? This is yeah. the ones, like, I don't know if you would agree with that. Like, Talia, Listen, Nidalee, and Belvet look by f the best in solo queue. Okay, but... I, I would say, like, okay, do we add? Okay, do you want to do A tier, B tier? Then we can do uh, uh, something like counter picks or no? Because yeah, sure. I'm not sure, like, for example, where I would pick Gragas. But I, I would, I, like, I can see Gragas being like, no, sort of say flex picks, I mean. Oh, flex picks. Flex picks. Yeah, flex picks. Flex picks. I mean, th then picks. we, to, okay, to flex picks, we can and add uh, Gragas. Okay, sure, sure, sure. That's better, I think. Okay. I, th I think I would add uh, to flex pick, I would add Gragas and uh, Rel. Sure. And uh, Gwen as well, actually, I would put there from down yeah, to down right. Yeah, she could be played, yeah. She could actually be played. And, and um, I don't know, like, I think people could play, could play Gwen. Uh, people used to play Nautilus. Nautilus, Jungle, I Nautilus. saw it, yeah. Yeah, like, like, like just put it in the flag speak. But I, I don't think Nautilus will actually be played during this world. But, like, I don't sure. think so either. I think it. And Nico oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. as well, I think. I would put Nico in flag speak. Because uh, Canyon did play it sometimes. And people yeah, do. Yeah, but she got nerfed now. Yeah. yeah, she did. I don't think she's gonna be really peaked, but I mean. Uh, okay, that's basically. I think, think Hecarim won't play, no? Like Hecarim Yeah, can. I don't think so. I think Hecarim Uder can. Hecarim Uder volleyball. Wait, what about Shaco? What about Shaco? What about Shaco? Like, he goes Okay, niche. okay. I think like Omega niche. Like, like yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Uh, that's yeah, basically. That okay, I mean, okay. Th then let's just go one by one, I think. Yeah. I think for now. Yeah. Evelyn. I don't know. I, I don't think Kill 6 may be better than Evelyn. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But Dika did try playing Evelyn and he lost. And he also tried playing Tilo 6 and he lost. Yeah. So I don't sure. know if G2 will play that stuff. The thing I... is, I think Talia is too good. Yeah, I think Talia is like very strong. But uh, it's like questionable like what is actually gonna be OP now. Okay, so I mean, I think these are the best blind picks, no? Like, if you're talking str strictly about jungle, there is like no okay, way. Okay, this... there is Listen, there is Talia for sure, good blind. What about Kartus as a good blind? Like, I think Kartus to... can be picked for sure blind, but I also don't. You, you don't I, think, I think he's Kartus... that strong, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like a niche pick because I think if you pick Kartus and the game is not like a super fiesta, you will just lose, right? Because your yeah. champ is gonna be useless. So I would yeah. put a niche pick, Fair even enough, though yeah. it is fine blind. I'm thinking if Maokai is a what good blind. What about No, Briar is not enabled, actually. Briar is not enabled. Not enabled. Briar is not enabled, okay. I, I would put uh, uh, Trandl as a like, counter pick for sure. Because uh, I think it could be good into like Bi or something. That yeah. is the last, yeah. yeah. Skarner into like niche. Because I think Skarner blind is honestly fine. Jarvan. What about Jarvan? He's like A. Jarvan's like A. Is, would I you say think, he's A tier? I think, I think he's maybe a B tier. Because B -tier? it also depends on the meta, mid, and, and bot, no? Like if yeah. Oriana is played, Jarvan is better. Yeah, but, but I think Oriana. Like I think I think I think I think Oriana is like OP, like basically. So okay. if, if Oriana is OP by my thoughts, I think she is. I put her like as best mid in the game. Then I think that okay. uh, maybe Jarvan goes up a tier. Yeah, no? maybe Jarvan is be a tier. Because I, also... I feel like I feel like I feel like it should be like Jarvan Oriana and then like Poppy on the other team to counter the Jarvan. I mean counter like be fine against him, right? And then you play yeah, this yeah. kind of game. Uh, so I mean, this is this is my opinion on Jarvan. I, like he's usually just like not that OP, but depends on other champs, right? Like what what is being played. I mean, Jarvan, I think is good against Talia. 
Uh, it's not the best against Poppy though. But it's, so if Poppy is A tier, Jarvan is like. But at the same time, I can see Poppy being bad if you want to pick Jarvan. But then listen also nice against Jarvan, right? Yeah. So what, what, I think just. What, what do you actually think about Belva in comparative? Like, do you think Belva's... I think she's like a B tier. I think B -tier like a B tier. In comparative? Okay. Okay, because the thing is that I think this champ without kills is like for sure less useful than champs like Listen, actually. Yeah. I mean, Listen is just like more question mark you know like he could be really good but he could be really useless I and Belbert agree, is yeah. also gonna be like so much useful i mean i think and for I sure they listen the way listen performs in solo queue and how much asian players especially like listen i think he'll be picked a lot no like yeah it's, very, so, it's fair so. to say he'll be picked a lot uh, i don't know if he'll um, be as op in, in competitive as in solo like i don't know how listen will perform against like poppy in competitive like you said it's fine but like i feel like poppy is just like think about it, like listen is really useless for ganking bot right where like yeah, Poppy uh, is like the, really good at ganking bot, but I maybe... I also think that in melee, melee like support matchups, you don't really dive bot that much, True. you can kind of play safe. Yeah, but people like... people can play stuff like Kate, Ash, you know, this kind of yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, Kate is actually very I mean. popular in solo queue. So I Caitlyn is like, Kate... yeah, Caitlyn is rising in popularity a lot. And also shit like Senna, I mean, but yeah. Uh, Echo is not a good champ, guys. I, I won't put I would, Echo in my tier. Yeah, I, do, I don't put Echo. Do, put Rek'Sai, though, in counter picks, I think. Because Rek'Sai could be playing to listen, but that's True. the Like, Rek'Sai is so hard nerfed, I really don't see it being played. But if it is played, it's only, it's only against listen. Okay, makes sense, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Kindred, yeah. I don't know. I feel like Kindred could nerf a lot as well. I'm wondering if Kindred is like a B tier or just a niche. Maybe it's a, maybe it's still a B tier. Like if it's, if it's Oriana meta and like people play Oriana, and you have a melee support, which we said are, are strong, right? Maybe yeah, Kindred, that's true. Maybe yeah. Kindred will actually C play. I feel like she's not. Okay, then that then weak. put Graves into niche, I think. But uh, I don't even know it's Graves. I don't think we have Graves on the board. I am. I am here. I don't, I don't know if Graves okay. is actually useful. What about Ivern? Do you think Ivern is still yeah, actually, really strong? Yeah, actually, I really like, don't know because Ivern, Ivern is so popular. Would Ivern be A tier or not? Like, uh, I feel like Ivan could be a good cheese pick, so it could be a good counter pick. But, but it's also, really it's also like I feel like I feel like, we, like everyone knows that Rel is a flex pick, but I feel like Rel is better than the other champs, no? Like Rel is better than Gwen, Gragas, now to Nico. Like you can't actually put. Sure, Rel... but but just put it, just put it like first then. Or okay, something. okay, sure. Like, okay, okay. If order. you want to do this this way, you can do order, and yeah, then sure, but, yeah. but then maybe we have to. No, I would still. I I think I would still go Viego Belvet Kindred. Jarvan, think... Poppy, Ivan. Maybe Poppy over uh, Jarvan, or. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do Do you think? Do you think? What about Nocturne? I feel like Nocturne could also be good if it's like. I think Oriana it could be meta. B. I think like I think Oriana Nocturne maybe over Kindred. Oh? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Like like the thing is that I think it's safer, and I think it's so annoying in team fights. Also, like is Nocturne very good against Poppy in theory? Yeah, I, th so I think Nocturne, Nocturne be used more as a counter pick because Nocturne you can use against Lee as well, right? And against yeah, yeah, Dahlia, yeah. and, and against, against Dahlia. Dahlia. So you can actually yeah. use Nocturne against like all three strongest blinds by by but us. But Nocturne, right? I think you could blind it too, but not with with, with bounce like, like would, four would, five. Would, would, I, would you actually would you actually put Nocturne in eight tier then? Because if he's if he's so strong against the three blinds. Like if he's strong against three blinds and he's good against them Oriana, which I think he is, and he's good with Oriana, maybe he would I actually. I think I'll, I'll go, go maybe counter pick tier, no? Because I, I, I'm not. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like as the first champ, though, as like by far the first champ. By far like, the way, best way better than yeah. Trump, like. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like I think if you get this champ in good match, I'll just put Trump, counter pick good, tier so. like higher. Honestly, I'll just put like, yeah. counter pick here. That makes more sense. Um. Okay. Okay. Gwen flex pick. What about Bro, Nealy, I don't actually? see Gwen really being high prior. No, I think Gwen, Gwen is. Okay, not if you add a tier, then may maybe we should do C tier as well. What do you think? C -tier? Because the, I feel like Nidali, Zin Zhao could fit C tier. If we if we do like one more and we do just the C tier. Add a tier above C tier. C. And then and then I would just do Nidali and then I would do Zin Zhao. And I would maybe even do Kazix there with Umbrel Glaive. And I could what about Vi? I think Vi could be actually good. I think Vi is maybe underrated slightly. Like maybe B? maybe like B tier. Underrated. Yeah, maybe B tier. I don't know if she's like better than these champs. Like for sure, maybe Vi game is... I mean, she farms so slow, slow, but if yeah. she can get to early game right, it could be so good. Yeah, it could still be good. What about Sejuani? What is Sejuani right now? Honestly, Sejuani, Mauka, I have no clue. I didn't see... Like, no one plays them in solo so, queue. Yeah. But I can see like... But I did see, I did see one Sejuani completely destroy my Talia. Like, I don't know, it was like... I mean, that was just, it's a solo queue, you know, like, if one Sejuani can do it in solo queue, maybe in competitive, she's not that bad, still. Okay, then I'll then I do them as B tier as well, yeah, maybe. Like, like I'll I... try to play have a Sejuani in my team than a Kha'Zix, but it also depends, no, it depends on the draft, hardly. 
What about is Olaf even a jungle champ? Like honestly, like is Olaf no, even useful? No, I don't think so. I think we just remove Olaf from the. Yeah, I think he pumps too slow and he scales like shit compared yeah. to like other junglers. Maybe Maokai is here as well, but is Nidalee? You think Nidalee is like that useless in competitive? Like, maybe she is. Yeah. I mean, she is okay if you go double. Like, okay, the thing is, Talia is just always gonna be better. So that's why I think Nidalee is like C tier, because I also don't think there is that many AD mids now. Yeah, not that many, yeah. But you don't. So, you, I, I, okay, I don't think you have to play the mids with Nidalee, no? You can just yeah, play you don't like... have to, but then might as well just pick fucking Diego or something, no? True. Or like Jarvan. Yeah. Like, there's just so many better champs. Yeah, I agree, yeah. I agree. Lilia, I think Lilia will be played against what? Maybe against Poppy, actually, no? And ironically. Yeah, against Poppy could be good, yeah. Like, I don't know, but, but, I I, but that's why I think Poppy is like, you know, I'm not sure how good of a blind Poppy is. I feel like Poppy has to be a counter pick, but it's also a good champ, you know. Like, he's a good champ, but I'm not sure how many teams would be able to like blind it. It is also a flex pick, right? So. Wait, do you actually want to go Lilia B tier or C tier? No, I don't know. I think probably C tier, right? Yeah, probably C tier. I, I just think it's niche, but I would put yeah. Lilia first in C tier, maybe. First Lilia, first then Lilia. Zen, and then Nidali. Okay. Maybe like this. Um. I think honestly, I feel like I mean Gragas might be played, but I think Gwen, Nautilus, and Nico won't be played. Honestly, what about Grace? Grace is like kind of weak, no? I feel like yeah, Grace is like kind of weak. as well. Like if someone wants to pick it, just pick it. But you know, these kind of champs like Graves could be in play, and like it could be the teams that are going home fast playing Graves for fun. <laughs> True, yeah. Uh, so we agree, Talia and Listen are the best line picks. Like, yeah. Uh, what about the iron? I, I like, really what, what, actually, what actually? What actually? What actually counters iron is blind pick though? I'm curious. Like, isn't iron in theory still a good blind pick? I mean, I think you just pick a fighter and you scrimmish. But what, like, what, you what, even, wait, what, what even got nerfed about uh, about iron? I think everything. Like they nerfed his iron like shield Lovic. value. Where do we see that? I need to go into yeah. Here, iron nerfs. Wait. 13, 15? Wait, wait, she was... He was already nerfed in playoffs patch or what? Yeah, he, he was nerfed in playoffs patch, yes. But he wasn't nerfed since, and people were playing in playoffs a lot, no, in LEC? Yeah... It was I, like picked I about. know, but, but they also like heavily buffed other stuff. Like Talia got buffed, Listen got buffed, and Talia was actually over Ivan priority at I mean, point. Talia is for sure better than Ivan, right? Like... Uh, yeah, I think so. But the thing is like... If Talia is out, like what champs from the list would you say even counters Ivern, no? I mean, I don't think listing counters Ivern, but I do think that like you can, if, if you, depends on the, your mid laner, you can scrimmage well. And I also don't know if you want to have Ivern and Orianna in the same team. I feel like Ivern needs AD mid, no? I mean, maybe does need AD mid. Yeah, so much true. Yeah, that's true. I that's just true. feel like depending on like meta from other lanes, Ivern that's could true. just not be that that's good. That's true. Lane. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I, I was not put him in best blind pick then. Maybe it's true, yeah. But the Talia is just that strong that you think it will be like. Uh... I think listen over Talia to be honest, because Talia again requires a draft. I don't think you just pick... okay. Fnatic picked it one two in playoffs, and they just got like you remember that game? They like yeah. all draft so hard they install us the game. Do you think do you think something like Viego could be tier above? Like do you think what about Viego? No no no, because I think Viego is too dependent on like I don't think Viego Ori by the way is that great. Okay. And I think that Viego is such a, like he needs like Lissandra. Something that just kind of like yeah, I, mean, I I actually I actually used to think that too. But if you think that like you have let's say Rel or Akan on your team, and then you also have Oriana, who is like Oriana is considered, I, I consider Oriana OP now. So before I would never want to play Oriana Viego, but I think now maybe it's actually fine. You can even like put. No, a ball I mean on I him. think Viego is high tempo, so you can always pick it to make sure early game is stable. I also think that like again, why would you pick Viego over Jarvan or Poppy? When you can just, I mean, okay, maybe over Poppy because Viego doesn't get countered, and Poppy does. Like Poppy so, can have hard so matchups, so right? Shouldn't we, so shouldn't we put Viego in A tier as well in theory? Because uh, you're saying he doesn't have many counters. I mean, yeah, he doesn't, but you, like you can kind of play everything against Viego too, in my opinion. I mean, okay, basically he's high tempo, so if you pick Vi and Vi is slow tempo, and he likes... gets fucked. Okay. Okay. But but I but I just think that Viego is a champion. If you go into mid game, it may provide way less value, and it depends how the game state is, right? Yeah. So that's why I would put him B tier. So you put him B tier. And not A tier, because yeah. I just think he doesn't provide enough if the game is. True. But I mean, I would still put him first, bro. Like over okay. these champs. Because okay. uh, but that's because I but, don't know. But sure. Maokai value, for example, Maokai was so P in the past, but maybe it's yeah, better it now. was. Is Maokai a counter pick now, or is he still blind pick, blind pickable? I'm not sure. I don't know how much nerf he got. 
and like if you pick Maokai and our Sejuani and, and Bellet bettering Sejuani via Maokai are like worse than Kindred and Bellet in competitive. Like, I'm not I, mean, I think sure, Maokai you know. might just be better than Kindred, no? I guess like maybe maybe he should be like yeah. Maybe and maybe, like maybe Maokai better than Kindred and Kindred is probably better than Vi and Sejuani. I mean, if you think about how she uh, operates. If yeah, Kindred yeah, sucks, then Kindred just sucks, and then Kindred just boosts in city. But Vi right? got slightly buffed as well, and I do think P like if Zaya is not like let's say if you think also like Zeddy again, yeah, and Vi is like I good, think they will. Vi is good with Oriana. It's good against Oriana as well. Yeah, so maybe Vi is ironically like actually strong now again. I, I, think, I, I can see Vi being played a lot. Yeah, I think people will play Vi actually. No, like thinking about it, they'll probably play Vi. They'll probably play Vi. Okay, these champs are all kind of. Meh. I think that's honestly kind but of. I think is I feel like Nocturne and Trundle are just better counter picks than Skarner and Rexai. So yeah, I don't but even, that's why uh, we have them like. But that I, I would put Skarner and Rexai in like niche. Ah, right? it's niche. Okay, no? sure, sure, sure. Like I mean, I say. think literally Rexai will not be played as. Because Nocturne, but because is, Nocturne uh, and Trundle, I feel like are the most useful counter picks you can get. No, like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. like they are actually they, useful counter. Like, like when they have a good game. What about Kazix like against Talia? Or you think it's a fake counter? Like it's completely useless. Oh, uh, or could you see it? Talia. I or think could you see it being be... useful? Like Kalix maybe against Ivern I mean, or Dahlia. I can see it. I can see it being useful. Yeah. Because I, 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 I would put. I would say this three. Like these three are gonna be like the most useful counter picks you can get. Let's like, say Kalix on like four or five against like Oriana or Azir and like I don't know. I mean, I'm just thinking like probably these three champs have the most value as counter picks compared to other champs. But okay, the thing I'm afraid of is that like it used to be that Kazakh is good against Zori, but right now we always go tier and you always go like setups, right? And you also have I mean, actually you, you don't you can go people actually don't buy tier on your Oriana anymore. People don't have tier. People actually because skip I just feel tier. like you don't have damage because people you actually go skip tier though. Like they yeah. actually skip tier, yeah. Like very rarely people buy tier, so they because they want like spike on lane and after lane, like like in mid game they don't want to like be useless, but. Um, yeah, I mean honestly, I think this, I think this tree makes sense as counter picks, no? And like the niche picks are niche picks, and I think I will leave them there. Uh, I don't know if I would put Elise in niche pick or I would put it like in like C tier or something. Wait, like, who? Elise? Uh, yeah. Because uh, we, we didn't I talk think, about Elise at all. I, I think. think she her clear is too bad. I think if you pick it and you don't do anything, it's so. So she is like C tier. No, oh. I think she is niche, very niche. No? Okay, very niche. Okay. Because because like if you pick let's say at least Lilia Matcha for example, I, okay, I basically I'll prefer to play all of these C tier champs over at least right now, right? Unless it is so heavily diveable bot lane meta, but I don't even think you can easily like. Elise is not good against melee supports, I think, because it's hard to dive, you know? Like, they are not you that squishy. Yeah, 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 true. But people do play so, Caitlyn. So you could, in theory, play, like, Kate Lux Elise. You know? Yeah, I mean? you could, yeah. Like and that, then you win the game. And then she is, yeah, yeah, and she's a, she's a niche pick. So that's why she's a niche pick. It makes sense, yeah. Yeah, but, but I think yeah. with these drafts, if you have Lux Kate, I think you will end up with something like Rel Jungle, Poppy what, jungle, what about something Malfe like jungle. a Mumu? Is a Mumu, like, can he jungle? I mean, we picked. should ask Razork. The only Razor played it. Only, only, is he the only one who played it? I, I From Europe at least, yeah. Like Kane won't be played, right? Yeah, like, Kane uh, won't be played, I think. Ramus won't be played either, for sure not. Mastery won't be played. Nunu won't be played. Uh, Talon, nah, useless. Nah. I'm thinking think Volibear is worth putting on the Volibear, board. Volibear and Udyr won't be played, right? Udyr is like too weak now. I, I think Wooder won't be played. Volibear, Volibear is... Niche, what about Volibear? Nah, like, okay, counter pick to what? To like Lee Sin? I don't know. This be a match. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. No way, no way. Okay, okay. Yeah, Volibear is a, a specific champ. As a like five. Wukong used to be played, but also I think too nerfed. Like what it used to be really Wukong good. Actually? What about Wukong actually? I have no, but I, th sure. I think also his clear is too terrible right now. But oh, maybe, okay. you know. Like, okay. like Wukong into Lee Sin and you for sure outscale. But like, it might be really lost quickly. Yeah. What should I put Wukong on the list? People are saying, like, my chat... No, 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 I wouldn't put Wukong. Okay. My chat is saying Zack, but I think Zack is kind of fucking worthless. <laughs> like, do you see Zack being playing something like Talia and you just, like, jump on her face? And I like, don't know, I can see it, actually. I can like, actually I, you know, see I was thinking it. Like, Canyon pulling against... it out? Yeah, I was thinking Zack against Ivern. Yeah, Zack against Ivern as well. I like, can like, see only Zack. That much I'll put Zack as a niche then. And I'll put Zack as, like, a pretty... Pretty decent niche, yeah. Pretty I good niche. Pretty I think Zach. I think Zach could be a very good niche, honestly. Like, I think it's a good suggestion. I think it's a good suggestion. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty decent, honestly.
I, I think, think that's it, it too, because I don't think there's any champs like... Why not Diana? Because sense. I think Diana is too bad now, no? I can see Diana being only played if Yasuo is played. And uh, I think Diana is bad against most meta. And I also think Diana is too nerfed after durability. She has no damage. So I think the, the, the B tier is good, like Udyr, Belvet, like... I uh... mean, I think all these champs have... Okay, the only thing that th doesn't fit to me there is Kindred. But maybe Kindred is better than I th think it is. But like, I, I would say like these all, all these champs... And then Kindred is... Because it is support AD meta, may, may, right? Maybe Kindred is actually C tier or, or not. Yeah, I think Kindred is kind of C tier. But maybe like... Maybe better than Graves and better than Nidali. But is it better than Nidali? Does Nidali like have so much more pace than Kindred? Or... She does have better tempo, yes. But like... but as a champion in the draft... Like, what is what champ is it there to draft with? I mean, Nidali you can always pick, but is she always gonna be useful? Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking like there's difference between like you Nidali and like... Honor or... Canyon playing Italy. <laughs> yeah, sure, but they didn't really play the champs either, to be honest. Yeah, true, true, yeah. I guess the meta didn't get changed that much, actually. So, yeah. Honestly, I think this is pretty good. I, I think maybe we could, like, make some changes, but I think it doesn't matter, really. I think this is, like, a good tier list. I think this is, considering the other roles we, we played, I think this is a good tier list, and I think we can lock it here. Wait, is it normal that they have so many champs, or is it just jungle? I, I mean, we it. are I have really open-minded champs. I have it. I have it on every. I have it on every. Okay, okay. This. because there's like a lot of open-minded. I think the flex picks. I think the flex. Okay, the only thing that triggers me. I mean, that triggers me. But I think like Rail is way better than like Gwen, Gragas, Nautilus, and Nico. So yeah. I don't. I don't think she should be in the flex pick tier. I feel like she should actually be like A or B tier. Like over Maokai Sejuani. I can see her over Maokai Sejuani. Like maybe like here. I, will put, I like, don't know how nerfed she got because no one plays it now, but I do because, think that yeah, she is a, she's a flex pick. Like she's a flex pick, but like I don't think she's like uh, I think she's way better than these champs. So uh, we could put her in this tier, and I could put a disclaimer like Rel is like. But I, honestly, I don't know. I would put I would put Rel in the A or B tier. Like, I, I don't sure. know. Like I would I would even I would even over like, Ivan maybe. I would even, even consider putting it in A tier because it's still like. But I, like it's the thing a... is, I really don't know if you can farm now with Rel. I mean, I don't remember what good nerfed. If you can farm, it's fine. I, I've, but, you know, I've, I've seen it. Like it's like people play it sometimes. It. Rarely. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I yeah, mean, if you think so. And it's. A, I mean, it's just a flex pick, and like it's an OP champ. I think Rel is like an OP champ, or like not OP, but like very very strong champ. So may, maybe it's like probably worse than the other ones, right? But yeah, like it's still a flex pick and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure, but I think maybe she's still strong. I, I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, but may, maybe she doesn't. Maybe, maybe she deserves to be in B tier. Really, is the only one we are. I'm uncertain about, honestly. So, uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. We can just we can just leave it here. We, we I don't... think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that will be it then. I think I will just lock it in. Lock in my, okay, play, sure, my sure, sure. tier list and go queue up, and maybe we meet we meet in solo queue. Maybe okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, good luck. Cheers, cheers. See ya.